Hey guys, Al Spence here from Gulf Coast Custom Garages. Doing a quick little update for you. I uh, jumped on this thing and kind of got lost in it. Had a few rough nights where I couldn't sleep. But been busy. Took a lot of work. The Barracuda stripped, so I'm going to get back on it. But I'm doing this one and I got a commission build for a guy. This you're looking at is the new... 70 Monte Carlo 454. Um, I got NOS in it. Back behind that fire bottle. My tax in and wired, I think. Got a computer I made. And it stands pretty wild. I got it down a little lower. A buddy of mine said I needed to drop it down some more, so. That's about the max. There's a back shot. Big meaty tires. Probably about a 10 second car, I imagine a little better. Oh, up here, you see those by the headers? I had to tube in this and extend the front end and then I had to build the side safety walls or panel walls, whatever you want to call them. I wish I would have done them a little more right here. I wish I would have brought them out more, but I was gonna put a fuel cell in here up in the front. I wanted to leave room, but I, I ended up not doing that, so. There's the gear shift I made, a four lever pull shifter. Kind of classic 70s deal. My NOS tank. Um, I could pop the body, I reckon. But uh, give you a roundy round, I got I got to finish it. Got the bare motor foil on, trim, I didn't do it. I might trim the bottom here, rocker panels. There you guys go. What do you think? Should I use some uh, silver bare metal foil down here along the bottom of the rockers or paint them black? I thought about maybe a flat black. You see the ghost flames in there? That's kind of cool. I'm going to put a few sponsor decals on it. Maybe a couple up through here in a fender front and a couple on the back. I'm not going to go with no big blown name or anybody or nothing like that. This is like a weekend warrior guy at Works for the phone company, works his ass off, gets hurt, don't get paid for it, and ends up crippled the rest of his life kind of car. Wait a minute. No, that's me. Hang on. Uh, there's the MSD. Cool can. I got to put my fuel lines in yet, the fuel rail. But for the most part, she's there. Got to do the front headlight cover. I thought about tenting them blue maybe and putting them in. Just kind of something to make the pop the front end pop a little more. Got the tack pigtail wired in. There you go, that's a good shot of the shifter, guys. Nice tank. Now, what I'm working on now, there's that old school, I think it's called Bardall. Bardall oil or something. The, the Bardall race team came up with this hood scoop back in the late 60s, early 70s. That's a, that's a throwback classic. But that's the new Monte Carlo SS. Outlaw, I guess, pro sportsman, whatever you want to call it. 10 second car, 9 second. What I'm doing now on a commission build is this fella's Ford 427. The uh, Fairlane 66. I got this from him yesterday, or day before I think. But the crazy thing is, a buddy of mine sent me another one of these kits. This car is exactly like it. I mean, there's nothing different except the hood scoops. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. And I got two or three bodies for this bad boy. Look at that. Got a resin body. Got a body that came with it. I got another body up there. Oh, this is the guys I'm doing now. I got the paint down. Excuse me, Benji. Here's my dog, Benji. Guys, say hi, Benji. He wants a flat, uh, bright white, which I achieved that. Looks pretty smooth and clean with a uh, flat black hood scoop, hood, the hood and scoop. So I'm gonna run some uh, 15 inch slicks on it. Might use pie crust for the air. But in this box is another Ford 427. This is a Ford Fairlane 427 one. Everything in it. I started this one and this one showed up in the mail. The guy's, my buddy Bobby's new one, so 
Uh, he paid for it. I wanted to use his. And there's the chassis I got going. A little tricky. This is great for adjusting. I could have dropped the front end on this, but period correct. It set up a little higher back in the late 60s and into the 70s. They didn't do that low rider shit stuff. Excuse me. Big Ford 427. I got to put the valve covers on it and stuff. He wants a, uh, a white car with a red interior. I kind of got that started. There's kind of the seats I'm leaning toward. I've got another pair out there that I'm going to experiment and try a little different way. Door panels are moving along. Both of them there. Got to trim them up and do the door handles. Uh, and you've seen the uh, Panic Vega. There's my Firebird. Uh, I might be putting that Firebird up for sale if anybody's interested. Uh, that's where I'm at. That's about it. So, again, Alan Spence here for Gulf Coast Custom Models. My Street Outlaw Sportsman Monte Carlo SS 454. That's the new one on the market. The only thing I used out of the box, guys, is the body, the chrome trim, and the windows. So, everything else is scratch built or out of another kit. So, anyways, you guys take care of each other. Have a good week. I'll uh, update you. The house is almost done that we're moving into. We got a, my brother-in-law is remodeling both bathrooms. So after that's done, we're in. I look, he says about a week and a half, fellas. I'm saying it's going to be about three. So I'm just going to keep building on and help when I can. All right. Al Spencer here for Gulf Coast Custom Models. You have a great week, and I'll holler at y'all later. Bye-bye.